My name is Louise Oliver and I'm an artist, a holistic therapist and a teacher. I painted this picture, the source of the river, in 2005 when I had just completed my training as a past life therapist with the Academy of Spiritual Sciences. During the course, I'd reconnected with my first love of painting. As a child, I enjoyed making pictures and I can remember particular moments, such as getting into trouble for colouring in the pages of a storybook. I felt I was making it more beautiful and was mortified when everyone was angry with me for defacing it. I recall copying the Japanese style landscapes on my mother's jewellery box. And aged about nine, I was mesmerised by a drawing of Jesus wearing a crown of thorns, and I felt a longing to be able to make that kind of magic. Later on, I did study fine art and then worked for many years as a visual artist, a writer and a performer with an innovative theatre company called IOU. While studying metaphysics and learning about the journey of the soul, I was called back to start painting again. When I made The Source of the River, I had a fascination with the gesture of the woman's arm raised above the head. It led to a whole series of images, which I saw as being to do with creative flow and with a connection between the divine and the human world. I didn't see then that my subconscious was revealing issues to me through imagery, showing blockages in my energy that needed to be addressed. It was eight years later that I found myself with a life-threatening illness and undergoing a major operation to remove a massive tumour from my chest cavity, the size of a melon. I was diagnosed with a giant, malignant, solitary, fibrous tumour of the pleura, this is a rare condition, and the tumour had collapsed my right lung and displaced my heart, as well as other internal organs. In 2013, as I awaited surgery, I was finding it very difficult to breathe or to move about. It was a scary place to be, and I had been brought here by years of grief, anxiety and stress. My eldest son had been suffering with severe mental health problems and it had been distressing to witness his disintegration whilst also looking after our youngest son. I remember the surgeon saying, I'll cut right around the ribcage and open you up like a basket. It will be like delivering a baby. And at three and a half kilos, the tumour really was the weight of a newborn baby. I came to see that, in my unresolved grief and loss, I had created a kind of replacement child within my body. When I was recovering from the operation, my therapist, Carol Lamb, saw the painting The Source of the River and knew that it was a key image for me. Carol recognised that the position of the arm was linked to past life memory. Later I found out that when I was on the operating table, I had been laying on my left side with my right arm raised above my head. So Carol led me in a soul recall therapy and I connected to a life when I had been a flamenco dancer and very highly regarded. I felt the dancer begin by raising her right arm reaching up and connecting to the light, drawing it into her body. I could feel the electric atmosphere, her love of the dance and her dedication to it. I was aware of her innovative approach and the acclaim she was receiving. For a time, I stepped into her shoes. 
Then the story unfolded of a tragic love triangle. The woman's husband was insanely jealous of her relationship with the guitarist, who was his brother. He accused them of having an affair and the family was torn apart. The woman was ostracized and went into exile. She was stopped in her tracks. I saw that my sons in this current lifetime were the two brothers from that previous life, and that we were tied in a karmic knot. These memories of disconnection had been brought back into this lifetime for healing, and my soul was searching for opportunities to restore the broken rhythm. My subconscious had been communicating with me through imagery, although it was only with hindsight that I began to appreciate the message. When I painted the source of the river, I didn't know about the dancer or that when she raised her arm in the air, she was drawing light into her body. I was just compelled to make pictures that repeated this gesture. Sometimes there was water cascading or petals showering down. Later, I remembered that it had started when I saw an Indian painting of a woman fixing a rose into her hair. I was reminded of this detail when I saw that I needed to choose between a path of thorns and a path of roses. This is the subject of part two of Restoring the Flow where I'll be looking at the collage picture I made called Among Thorns.